Right. A three race deal. What did we do at East Bay right last now. time? Spun out. You spun out yeah. both nights. He spun out, I think. Yeah. Don't do that this time. We'll fire you. All right, Jesse has a surprise, another surprise from Hank at Capital. By the way, the last surprise, the gator bait or oh, mud yeah. missile. What do you think won out of that? I didn't count, but it looked like gator bait. I got like four gator more bait. votes than mud missile, yeah. so. I, I don't know. I'd rather be gator, gator bait. bait. I'd rather be well, a mud missile than gator bait, to be thing honest is, with you. you know, we're gator fans, and that was kind of like a say. Gator bait. Gator bait. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Come on, I'm on cut with that. That's too much knife for you. Here, Troy. Is that Troy? Yeah. Good. All hands on the deck. It's an engine plate. 602 for a capital. Oh, I see. I see what he was. Uh -huh. He did special for Jesse. He did me a little extra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a one, one on, it. on it. Number one, Capital Fab. And this is going to go right here for those of you inquiring minds. <laughs> See, that's a, Something it's a like cap, that. isn't it? Uh, there's Troy. It's an engine plate for a Capital race car, but it's for a 602. Whereas this would go for a 604 or a super engine. I'm just trying to figure out the difference. You got, you got to be, you can raise it up higher. You can pick it up. 602 is going to be higher. Right, exactly. So this engine plate, can it, we might have to move the power steering reservoir. Oh my gosh. But see, you can make, look, move it real quick. See that, there's this, you can't, you can't go any higher with this. You can only go like that little bit with that quarter inch. But with that, you know, you're going to be able to move it even higher. So the 602, this one, oh, the, the oil pan goes down lower than a 604 yeah. and it'll hit the ground. We found the difference. Yeah, it's yeah. Up here. Right. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Dang, tearing it up already, Jesse. Anyway, thanks to uh, Hank for the extra touch on the Jesse's new engine plate. Troy, did you see our driveway? I did. Nice and smooth. <laughs> yeah. Jesse, with you? Yeah. <laughs> it's extra, like Shadow said, you're just going to have to have sunglasses to walk into the backyard. Well, whatever it but means. exactly, it'll look more like that. Yeah then wash the that it'll wash it down yeah when it rains it'll wash that powder me and joseph at, after i finished the video the other day me and joseph did a lot of edge work and then we rolled it so that's the finished product i can't wait to get the truck in here and see how it does yeah. well, what are you proud of me and joseph mounted a shock rack thing yesterday uh -huh. on the wonder why we got to mount a new shock rack we can't tell them yet we can't tell them <laughs> anyway we uh we've been riding with our shocks in the floor in the floor now we got uh we got a nice fine shock rack and we'll have us hopefully some spare shocks on it. Oh, Weir's machine, their Ultra Force Spring Smasher. Y'all see it using us? Y'all see us using it? Uh, if you're going to Bristol, they can bring one to Bristol for you and save you on shipping. So, uh, fine machine that we've used. We use it every time we go racing, before we go and at the track. Get with Weir's and they'll get you hooked up and you want to pay shipping if you're going to bristol me and troy got the memo yeah look there you go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they got nice hoodies very nice they got all kinds nice. of stuff at weir's machine oh. cool story about my saturday morning i edited the video from where we finished the driveway and got this out mm. i got it edited and went to upload them i don't have a thumbnail so i was out here in my pajamas at eight o'clock saturday morning taking this motor out of the box just for i could have a good thumbnail Thing you do. I'm telling you. Anyway, it needs to go back in, in the box, and we need to put it back over there. But I do feel good that y'all, everyone gets to see it out of the box. You know, the nice uh, work, pretty work that Drame did here. The super late model engine is back, you know, but it's going back in the box for I'm curious, a month. Did you, did you tell them how much horsepower it made? Yeah, 853. So, unfortunately, back in the box, the super late model is uh, engine, the big engine, is going to go for, well, probably about a month till we get the new car. That's what it won't. We won't be running it till March 12th and 13th. For now, though, we're going crate racing. I don't think I've mentioned it in this video. So if you haven't been tuning in, you don't know we're going crate racing with this one. East Bay Raceway Park, February 4th, 5th, 6th. Joseph behind the wheel, uh, and that's when we get this uh, super late model motor over there out of the way. We're going to trade spots with the two cars here, and we get to work on this one. I feel like it's safer in this box. Pick it up a little bit more on my side. Ah, you can sit. We'll set it down right there. There you go. All right. 
engine staging area there. That's where that'll be for a while. That one will be going in this car soon. February 20th will be Jesse's first race with the 602. Do what? It'd be tight, but it could be done. Right now we gotta swap these two. This is this is where these dollies are gonna come in, in handy. Well, all we gotta do is do some rolling around and we'll have them in just a minute. All right, so there it is. Did some finagling, we got them moved around. We can work on this one now. East Bay Raceway Park, less than a week from now. Actually, one, two, three, four, four days from now, we need to be leaving, headed south. Joseph made it, and we are changing a starter. Yeah. This is a refurbished starter. We got a guy local, rebuilt it for us, and we're gonna try to get that one to him Monday morning. We can refurbish that one, and we'll have two of them. Yeah, he knows how to do them now. He's getting used to seeing us. We need to get that one. It needs to go Here, Monday. You drop this off real quick on your motorcycle. Give it back to the <laughs> Take that wheel on hey. your motorcycle. Drop it off for us. Okay. Bump it. See. Yeah, well, we hold crank. on. Troy's doing some cleaning of We're gonna crank it and drain the solenoids. Yeah. I got hey, you, a, you check? I'm gonna build me a plow right here. A plow? A plow. Since they're racing rough at East no, Bay. No, no, no. We're gonna need more than that. <laughs> I'm gonna plow the, to plow the air. Get more downforce on this right front tire when that thing you can't turn. Well, based off the racing I've seen this week, you're gonna need to be plowing more than air. <laughs> That's the Lucas boys. They can't none of them race anymore. <laughs> and while our electrician's here, we're getting Troy to do here, some uh, some electrical work. Excellent. We have some dirty uh, ends or something. Oh, yeah. Eroded. Grounding issue for the uh, tack. Oh, yeah, that's right, it wasn't. Causing yeah. the attack to kind of act funny, so I'm just cleaning everything up. Nice. See if that'll help. Let me crank this rig. Tell him we want our $200 back. <laughs> I just can't hit it, Joseph. All right, one more time. All right. All right. Okay, so that's not reaching the flywheel. So it should be coming out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it ain't okay, so our rebuilt starter. We don't have a starter. That's what it comes down to. So we uh, aren't going to change the oil just yet. We don't have a starter. We still got starter issues. Thing won't crank. Yeah, so we, we like to crank it up before we change the oil, let it run just a second. I don't know if that's if everyone does that, but we do. So instead, we're going to do some body work here. So here's what we were working with. Y'all remember, if you watched the video from Volusia, we had a gap between right here and the hood. This is all kinked up. Can't have that. Gotta take it all off to fix it. The right. door's gotta come off. <laughs> yeah. Got you telling us we gotta take the whole body off now? Hey, except for the right rear quarter panel. Right rear quarter panel's good. Shove it in and back. And the same thing with the quarter panel on that side. Just unbolt the bottom of it. Unbolt the bottom. Yeah, where it's kinked. I can see his boat. I see what he's talking about now. I get down here with it. So we got to kind of like, yeah, get that worked out of it. That's crazy. Okay, now it's bowed the other way. I see actual damage over here. Yeah, she wrinkled. Because he wasn't going fast enough. Someone run into him. Yep. I'm about to fire him. <laughs> well, that's what, hey, if your left rear is crinkled up, you know what that means. You didn't fire an engine. Yeah. <laughs> or you were in their way. Look at that yeah. dirt falling off there. Who's that I get that kink out of it. Uh oh, I mean, it is. <laughs> it's like a, a piece of paper. Once you crinkle it, like, I don't know if it's really going to be straight again. 
That better? That's better. You'd always do like I said and put some zip ties. <laughs> Well, if we were on like a half mile track again, I would suggest it. But being we're going to East Bay where aerodynamics isn't that big a deal. We'll let it fly. Yeah. You got it picked back up. For now. You see everybody getting on you, Jesse, not having your chainsaw chaps on. And your ear, ear protection, and your eye eyes. protection. Yeah. I can't believe you. <laughs> well, they're chainsawing. No. No. <laughs> You should all be ashamed of that. They just better be glad I had my boots on at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Joy! What did we do? Oh, he scratched the fender. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, don't scratch that fender, whatever you do. By the way, we got brand new fender tops over here. We figured though, being East Bay, the way them boys have been racing. We'll need those in the trailer. Yeah, we'll leave the new ones in the trailer. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't need them. Good. Boom. You run that one in. There you go. Good as new. Man, that looks good to me. If he'll go fast enough that no one will be running up under him, knocking him out the road, it'll be good. Mm. If he's slow, they'll be hitting him in the left rear and they'll bend it up. Decent last time. How did we do last time? What did we do last time? At East Bay, two top tens, like a seventh and a ninth. A or deal what did we do at East Bay last out. time? Spun out. You spun out yeah. both nights. He spun out, I think. Yeah. Don't do that this time. We'll fire you. Yeah. Anybody know why these two go in upside down? No one. Jesse, you know. You want well, to tell them? Under there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so well, they won't hit the tire. Turn them over. Flat side down. Baby's laid over on that right front now. Huh? 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 The last thing we want is a pop rivet to cut her right front tire down. Bump it. Bump it. See how breaking that up did? Mm -hmm. Close our hood gap. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we'll keep our tire out of our finger. Hang around. All right. Your body look good enough to you? Serviceable for East Bay. Sure. We got, we're taking a whole hey, spare. If, if it comes back looking at me half this good, I think we've done well. <laughs> yeah. Three checks put on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if it comes back mangled up and with three checks on the wall, right. we'll put on the wall, I'll be happy. We're taking uh, spare everything down there, spare doors, quarters. Um, the only thing we won't have spare is the roof and the deck and the hood. Everything else we'll have spare uh, in the trailer, just in case. Another thing. Another thing. If we flip four times on the back straightaway, we're coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Carpenter and all. There's another thing. Did y'all see? It? Did y'all see that, Freddie yeah. Carpenter? Um, Kryptonite race cars. Was it, it bent? Out. Yeah, had, you know, it had a big kink in there right above the head. They cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, shout out to those guys yeah, for getting the car back together, but uh, I don't know if we'd have it in us. Hard, but I, I ain't doing it. <laughs> that, uh, my weekend's over. I mean, we'll take the motor to 3 o'clock in the morning. All right, we got to do some tire work here. We need, I know we're going to need some new tires, so we need to figure out what we got and what we need. Let me move the tennis bike. The sizes was all over the place on them, remember? It's a good one, though. All right, so we're going to air all these up, size them up. Get us a good set of used ones flipped over, ready to go. And then we'll have us some wheels for new tires too. And we got a couple new ones we're gonna mount. So, tire work.
All right, so we still, uh, we got some tire work done. We got two new ones here, another new one. And we got, that's, that's for new tires. And we got a set of used tires as well. So as far as the car goes, got to figure out about a starter. Probably be going down to, uh, to Bryant's down there and buying a starter, huh? And, uh, yeah, we beat on as hard as we could. It didn't make a difference. Uh, but other than that, um, this car is pretty close. Got the body work tidied up. Didn't put anything other than the fender side. We didn't put anything really new on it. Because uh, if y'all been watching them down there at East Bay, y'all been seeing them tearing bodies up. So, uh, but we'll have spare parts ready. Body's good to go. Speaking of East Bay, it's on. is it on back here? Hey, we got to take our picture. We got to take our uh, tweet your seat picture here. Anyway, we got East Bay tuned up here. Um, the final night of the Lucas Oil Series down there. So we're going to watch that and see if we can learn anything. Oh, watch out, Turbo. <laughs> it was good timing, wasn't it? <laughs> Anyway, y'all like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you later.